Welcome to this week's video blog from MASH Web Design and how to create and add a plugin icon in WordPress 4.0. With the release of WordPress 4.0, a whole host of new development and visual updates have been rolled out. One of the main updates implemented has been the visual improvements made to the plugin installer. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create the perfect icon for your plugin and how to ensure it appears next to your plugin within the installer. As you can see, the plugin installer's new grid layout allows a lot more information to be displayed about your plugin. It also allows users to make a better informed decision about what the plugin is uh, what plugin is right for their website. Plugin icons will appear within the installer at 128 pixels square. You can either save your icon as a PNG, JPEG, or SVG, and all will display fine. We recommend keeping your design as simple and as memorable as possible. If we take a look at the icon we created earlier, it's extremely basic and simple, yet works as a good reputation of what the plugin does. I personally recommend designing your icon at 256 pixels square, as retina icons are also supported. The following guidelines will help you create the perfect plugin icon. Keep the design simple. Avoid the use of text. When the icons are scaled down to smaller sizes, your text may become unreadable and blurry and it may also deter users who do not speak your language. Optimize your image to improve load speeds. Here at MASH we use Image Optim. Ensure you do not use WordPress logo within the icon design. And this icon is about your plugin, not an advertisement for your business. As long as you follow these guidelines, you'll have a perfect plugin icon in no time at all. Be sure to save your plugin icon in your plugins assets folder. Choosing the correct file name is extremely important. You'll be able to find the correct file names to use in the supporting blog post, but in this case, I'll be using this. As compatibility information is shown in the new plugin installer, it is important that we change the plugin's readme.txt file, test up to value, to 4.0. Before doing so, ensure your WordPress plugin still does work in WordPress 4.0. If you already have a plugin on the WordPress codex, then you should be familiar with accessing your plugin's SVM repository. If you aren't, or you can't remember how to, then you can find more information about accessing your plugin on the WordPress website. I highly recommend using either the SVM client Cornerstone or Versions to make the edits to your plugin. In this tutorial, I'll be using Cornerstone. All you simply have to do is click into your folder, highlight it, and drag it into your folder. It'll ask you to come up here. It will also ask you for a log message. So choose something which is relevant to what the update you've made. As you can see, we've already uploaded it onto there. So if you do have something already uploaded into the repository, simply delete it and re-upload uh, re it. Again, one other thing we need to do is just upload our readme.txt file. So if we go ahead and delete this, And then if we go over, find our new readme.txt file and drag it in. Once that is updated, we'll allow that to update, but what we should do now is just head over to uh, your WordPress 4.0 installation and search for your plugin. So in this case, our plugin is called MASH Manage General Website Information. And you'll now be able to see your plugin. 
You can also see that it's compatible with your version of WordPress, so the readme.txt is uploaded correctly along with the icon. Okay, so that uh, concludes our video blog for this week. Um, if you've got any questions, please add them to the support and comments.